Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to assemble the VM vaporizer. For, so first you just take the blower and you twist it in. You place it into the metal rod placement like this and then you twist it to the right. So you can hold the handle, twist it to the right until it clicks. So once it clicks, you can close the red clamp. Now you have your blower assembled. Uh, second, what you wanna do is you want to take the torches and you'll place the control knob there and then you're going to put your torches on top so not under but on top and you'll place them right inside the placeholder like this so first you put in the tip you put in the tip straight and then you turn so you put it in straight and then you turn the torches to the side and that'll put it in placement then put the hose clamps in place same thing with the other side first you will put in the torches straight and then you'll turn it to the side and it'll get into position so once you've done that um, you'll tighten the hose clamps make sure everything's good uh, make sure you're Propane's closed all the way. Now you'll connect your bottle to propane. You'll just twist it as you normally would. Twist it on. There you go. So now that you have that assembled, now you have this in the off position. You'll open this two turns fully. You'll light the torches with the lighter or a torch and you'll preheat for five minutes. After it's done preheating, you'll turn it down about an eighth or a quarter and you'll work at that kind of setting. Now to clean the vaporizer every 15 or 20 loads is our recommended time. Every 15, 20 loads you'll remove the blower and you'll put in the cleaning rod into the bottom section and you'll push it all the way down and just go back a, a few times, back and forth a few times, take it out, put the blower back in, twist it, lock it. Now when loading the exolic acid, you will load about at about an 80 degree angle. So like this, uh, you don't want to have the vaporizer standing at a 45 degree or lower because the torches, they'll heat up the vaporizer and it'll start getting hot. And if you load the exolic acid at this angle, it's gonna fall and it's gonna start melting and before it gets to the heating chamber, it's gonna melt and get crystallized here and get stuck. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep the vaporizer in, at an 80 degree angle, load your half tube or full tube of exolic acid, drop it in so it falls down into the heating chamber and that's where it gets uh, caught and vaporized. And then you will wait about 10 seconds and press the trigger to check the smoke. Uh, the air valve is gonna close so the exolic acid doesn't come out here. We built this custom built uh, trigger for the Dewalt fan. So it always keeps the trigger pressed. So you always have airflow going um, because this is the standard Dewalt um, settings are not enough. So we had to create our own uh, this will always keep the air blowing so the exolic acid doesn't go back into the fan or out here into your face. So it keeps the air going and pushing the exolic acid out. And so that's it. That's all you need to know. At the end of each day, you want to clean the torches. Watch our other video to see how to clean the torches. Thank you.